Hi guys, I'm just going to show you guys my fish tanks. Um, this tank has three emerald quarry cats. You see them right through there. It has four of these American flagfish, which is a horrible idea. Don't put quarry cats and American flagfish together. Uh, I'm just waiting for them to die. He's getting there. Um, and then I have Siamese algae eaters in here as well. And just, I, I just clipped some of the plants and the Siamese algae eaters eat these like leafy, or not leafy, but stringy plants when they bite on them. And I mean, they, American flagfish just rip plants apart and the quarries dig them up and yeah. So this tank will really never look pretty, ever. I'm going to walk you over really quick to the guppy tanks because I am breeding guppies. And I am looking to sell some of them. Um, I don't think you can see it, but there's a couple, couple males in here. You can see him. I don't know. Um, yeah. They were getting picked on. And so, stop, dog. So, I have in here some golden apple snails, or golden mystery snails, that's what people call them, but they're actually apple snails. And so, then I have some. Red ram's horn snails in here as well. Then I have pond snails, you know, just to keep the assassin snails from going hungry. And just put stuff, and then I have the water level so low so that hopefully they will breed. They will meet each other. They have, but they haven't really done anything, so we'll see. This is my female guppy tank. It is a 20 gallon long. I have some like fancy big eyed guppies and then I have like some really colorful females. I'm really surprised at how they came out. They're really pretty. Um, this is one of the babies, like majority of these were born here. This is the only one that wasn't. Um, so I'm going to start looking to breed these specifically with certain males and get traits that I'd like and there's a couple special bent ones, but those ones won't be bred. Um, I think that might be a male, but no, it's got to grab its spot, but it doesn't have any eggs. I know. I don't know. It was pregnant when I left to go camping, so there is a female guppy tank. There is a Siamese algae eater and then a golden algae eater in here as well as pond snails to keep the population up for the assassins. Uh, this is the golden and Siamese algae eater over there in that corner by the almond leaf. And then up here... I have all my males. Um, this guy is a yellow sword tail. A lot of them are like these guys. Um, some of them have more colors. And then I'm going to breed that little guy with his sisters. I know it sounds wrong, but you know, it's how we roll. So yeah, I have a bunch of males in here as well. They were just picking on some of the older ones that I have now in the bucket. And it looks to me like they're starting to pick on this man, this old guy. Because if you can't tell, he's pretty, pretty old. He's pretty too. He's got a blue top fin, a purple, like, stock, I guess. And then orange tail with, like, a dirty orange, kind of like a burnt one. And then he has, like, a greenish, bluish sheen to him. And I have some swimmers as well, but they're really pretty. I don't kill any of my fish or do anything like that to cull the population to what I want it. So 
I just pick out whoever I want to breed and breed them with the female of my choice. And then this is baby tank. Well, and there's cherry red shrimp in here as well. But sorry, it's a little dark. Um, let's see if I can get that better. Uh, yeah, I've got some cherry reds in here. They're not very colorful. The females aren't. But then I have a bunch of babies as well. And I'm sorry about the shakiness of the camera. Um, I mean a ton of babies. And there's even babies in the female tank because they keep popping. Because if no one knows, guppies can actually get pregnant several times off of one batch of sperm. Well, a couple, a few times, I guess, would be the more correct word to use. I think about three or four times is how many. I don't know. It could be up to five. I'm not sure. But yeah. So these are going to grow out and be separated into their appropriate tanks. It's almost time for some of them to come out. It's going to be a chore. But you see like her, she's getting to the point where I can sex her. I'm not an expert by any means, but I'm just really enjoying this hobby and hopefully I can breed specifics and bring you more. So let me know if you're interested, leave a comment below and I will update you guys every little while I guess until I get enough views and enough people who actually want guppy specific videos. Um, so just let me know. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.